Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a late update for Partners in Cream. I apologize, I uploaded my intro late and now I'm uploading my first update late. I will catch up to the train that is everyone else's updates on the 10th of the month. This project was created by Steph Lyons and Delin from Outward Processing. They are of course linked in my description box. In this project we're working on all cream and liquid items and you can choose between four and six I think. And I really missed doing this last year so I'm hopping back in. I do not have any rollouts for this month but we're gaining momentum. <laughs> We're going to keep moving along and I will have a rollout for next month. So let's just hop into it. My first product is a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. I have the shade Blaze. My goal is to hit pan on this. I did use it four times since the intro and I think I am very close to pan. This is one of my very oldest ColourPop products. I've definitely used it way more than four times since I've owned it, but I mean the dip in there is pretty significant and it it's cracked not from drying out. It arrived kind of smashed and pushed into one side and I had like pressed it back out when I first got it. It's still as creamy as ever and I'm excited to keep using it. It's kind of like an antique dark um, goldy bronze kind of shade. I have made like such a dent in this product. I have a usage goal in it, but it's still so exciting. So this is the ColourPop Too Cool for School Blush for more like medium skin tones. But for me, it works great as a bronzer. I'm wearing it today as a bronzer. It has like a weird peachy undertone, but for some reason I feel like that's kind of flattering on me. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it looks silly. I don't care, but I really like it. I have a 20 use goal on this. Oh, I'll also be posting um, any changes in weight on the screen. I did not weigh these before coming down to film, which was my bad. Um, my goal is to use this 20 times. I've used it nine times so far, but look at the, de the dent in here. Like, I don't think I'm necessarily close to pan, but this was something I had used only twice prior and like now this is looking used and abused for only being used 11 times in total. I'm really impressed with this usage. I am loving this product so much and will be excited to use it 11 more times before rolling it out. Another cheek product, I have the Milk Makeup Blush in Work. This was a birthday gift from Sephora a really long time ago. Again, a 20 use goal on this. I have used it six times. I feel like this one looks exactly the same. I'll be curious to see if it changed in weight at all. I have this on my cheeks as well. It's beautiful. It's kind of a basic color, but I mean, that's fine. It means it goes with pretty much everything. So 14 more uses to go on this. Something I haven't used at all is my L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation. I rolled this in thinking I was like a day away from finishing the other foundation I've been using, which is a sample like this big that has lasted over 30 uses. And I thought it would be like 10. So <laughs> I haven't used this yet because um, I've been mixing the other one with a lighter foundation and I think I'm going to have to do the same with this one maybe. Um, it's in the shade N12. But this is really old and it was before. I think L'Oreal has a better shade range now. I don't care. I don't buy from L'Oreal, but I haven't used this at all. That was a long ramble for something that doesn't even matter. Something I made great progress on is my Cover FX Blurring Primer. I have used this 15 times and went from this line down to here when I hold it up to my studio lights. And I do feel like there's still quite a lot of air in here as well. Like it kind of sputters when I'm squeezing it, but that is like where it settled. So I think it's going to go relatively quickly. I have used this like whole thing over 60 times and that's quite a bit for it's one fluid ounce of product, but I'm hoping it won't take too, too long 
to finish this. And I am very motivated by this progress and hope that maybe in three months or so I can have this gone. This is the pore filling primer I am using each time I do my makeup. So I've done my makeup 15 times since the intro and I'm really motivated by this progress. Like I said, no roll oats uh, this time, but I will have pan on the Super Shock Shadow, and I'm not going to necessarily roll in another Super Shock Shadow for this one. Maybe I will, but it will just depend on kind of what's going on in my other project pans as well. I don't know if I will have, well, maybe, what is it, 11 more uses on this? I might be able to have this rolled out too, which would be great, and then I probably will roll in another cream bronzer because I'm trying to deter myself from buying the cream bronzers on my wish list because I already have cream bronzers and they go bad so quickly. I'm like, I at least need to rotate through the ones I own before buying new ones to just sit in my makeup drawer of shame. So I think these are my best hopes for next update. I am very motivated by this progress and hope to see more of that next month, though if I'm trying to get back on track, I'm going to have to go quickly because the next update seems like it is very close. So that is it for my Partners in Cream update. You'll have to let me know in the comments down below how you are doing on your project pans. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that I know and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! <laughs>